Morning YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Jess Rockatansky here at the Rockatansky Rod Shop. And I'd like to show y'all the 59 Ford. If you've seen my last video, you've seen the trade I made. I'd swap the 64 Chevy for a 59 F100. And uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's got a... 429 or 460 in it they never finished hooking it up some little rod shop I think in uh, Ardmore had this it's a big window truck that was the main factor in why I wanted it so bad was a factory red and white truck it have a 60 nose on it it's a 59 truck or it's titled as a 59 um, this nose looks factory to me because there's the factory red paint that matches the inside I don't know if it's been changed or not that is definitely a 60 nose but this could be one of those things where uh, it was late 59, early 60, title is the 59. But the VIN, all the numbers match. So uh, who knows what the deal is on that. But it's cool. It seems pretty solid. It's got a couple patches in the floor. I don't know how deep that's going to go yet. Haven't really looked into it. I'm going to try to get this all cleaned out and see what the inside's about today. But the factory automatic, which I think is kind of different. It had the chrome gauge bezel, um, the dome light, the armrest. A few little things that the, the normal base model ones didn't. Uh, and some people probably think I'm crazy for trading the Chevy for this, but if you uh, knew the story on why I like these, you might you might see why I did it. So, from the time I was 17 until I was 25, I drove one of these. The 59 F100, I drove it every day. So that truck you just seen, that was uh, that was Melba Toast. That was my ride. Uh, from the time I was 17 to 25, I mean, that's that's what I drove. I had other vehicles and, and other stuff to drive, but that was, that was my ride. Uh, we went to work, we went to school, we went to my girlfriends, we rode around. I mean, that was it. That, that, I started working on that truck when I got it. Uh, first thing I done was uh, welded up the filler neck for the fuel and I Frenched the antenna and it just snowballed from there. It had a 72 Torino 351 Cleveland in it. Me and my dad put a C6 out of a 74 F100 uh, behind the Cleveland and got it running. Uh, drove it to its first car show and uh, it was all primered out and patchwork and started working on it from there and it it was like a college course in a lot of ways I mean it taught me a lot if it wasn't for that truck I wouldn't be here today doing this I wouldn't be where I'm at I, I truly feel like that's what got me where I'm at 
So yeah, these these always hold a special place in my heart. This body style. That that's why I made the trade. Plus, I feel like this is the right one. So um, I'm sure you guys get it. That first ride. I mean, that's that's it. So, uh, but this thing's happening on the channel, and it's happening pretty fast. So uh, hope you guys are tuned in for updates and uh, hope you're looking forward to it I know I am uh, and if you haven't hit that like button subscribe to the channel you won't be disappointed we're always doing something fun here so uh, we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching everyone <laughs>